See, I believe in technological unemployment. It's actually, I've been trying to make the argument for, for a decade now uh, that of the inevitability of technological unemployment and that we need to start anticipating it. It's actually a hard argument to make right now because employment's beginning to pick up again. But um, I believe in its inevitability, but I'm one of those lefty uh, folks who for the last 200 years thinks that eventually freeing us all from wage slavery might be a good idea. And that uh, if, in fact, people started to see the, the inevitability of the elimination of work, that we might all wrap our minds around the concept that there might be something better to do than all have wage slave jobs. Um, <laughs> just as we wrapped our mind around Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid and the British National Health Service and so forth. The, the progress of social welfare legislation is, yes, that bad stuff happens, like the Industrial Revolution, and then we responded. So I, I think that we have to imagine that we'll be able to do that again, since people are already talking about what the necessary responses to technological James, unemployment your, your, should be. Your opponent, uh, Jaron, uh, put, put forth the idea of translators, professional translators, people who know multiple languages, that gradually um, uh, machine translation, while stealing from their body of work, um, to build their algorithms and feed their algorithms will be put out of work eventually. And are you saying that that's one of those jobs that you would like to see go away? I would like to see go away? I mean, I think there's probably no definition of futility other, uh, other than, no worse definition than knowing that the machine next to you could do the job that you're doing faster, better, and safer, um, mm -hmm. but that you're forced to do it because somebody says you can't use that machine. So, um, yes, I think in the future there'll be all kinds of machines that do all the jobs. I, I basically, I think everything that we do will eventually be done better and faster and, and safer by machines. Mm -hmm. um, but the things that are most immune right now are the creative jobs. So, you know, my daughter's an opera singer. She's probably relatively immune. Um, uh, you know, if opera could be replaced, it would have been replaced by record players and radio a long time ago. Um, so I think, yes, I think there'll be many things that'll be replaced. And what it will do is free us up, like, like Andrew proposed, to the Marxian vision that we'll be able to be farmers in the morning and poets in the afternoon, if that's what we want to do. A life of true choice. That's the vision okay. of the future I have. Jaren